Hey, welcome back. Today is a special day because I am getting ready to have a nose job done. Now, no, I'm not a vain individual and I know that I do have quite a big nose profile here, but at long last, I have met with a ear, nose and throat specialist who checks things out and agrees that my nasal cavity here is a lot smaller than what it should be, which is causing problems. And so they're gonna do an operation to open that up for me. So before I went into the operation, I wanted to take a minute to do a quick video to say, this is what I look like before. And let's see what it looks like after. If you notice a difference my sound in how my voice sounds and that sort of thing. Some people have said that I sound really nasally. So we'll see if that goes away and see if any changes to kind of the profile of my nose come up. So I'm gonna do a quick profile of my face from both sides and straight on. And then we'll do the after shot once the surgery is done and hopefully the swelling on my face goes down and see how it goes. So you're gonna see this video after the operation is done. I'm going in for that in the next day. So I just wanted to do a quick video. So I'm really excited to see the results. Hopefully you stick around to see them too. Hey, guess what? I am back. My nose surgery is complete. It's been actually about a week since the surgery. I needed a little bit of time to recover. I had a fair amount of swelling. I still have a lot of junk up inside my nose, which causes problems with breathing and my sinuses are, are backed up and stuffed up. But overall, I would say that the operation was a total success. When I go like this, I actually get almost as much air through my nose as I would get breathing through my mouth which I've never experienced that in my life that I can remember. So it's amazing to be able to actually breathe through my nose and get oxygen. Um, if you're wondering what it felt like before, I, the best way I can describe it is to take a coffee stir stick, stick it in your mouth, close your lips around it, and try to breathe through your mouth through that coffee stir stick. That obstruction is about equal to how much obstruction I had trying to breathe through my nose. It is a whole lot better. So overall, anybody who has issues breathing through their nose, I do recommend that you talk to your doctor because that's who you gotta go through first before you can get a referral to a specialist. Once your doctor has a look, he will refer you to the ENT, the ear, nose and throat specialist, which then they'll go and shove a camera up your nose and have a look and they'll see if there is any issues. There is some medication they can give you that'll help kind of shrink the polyps inside your nose to make it easier to breathe and that sort of thing. In my case, they did need to go and just kind of scrape all those out and then open the, the nasal cavity as well. It was definitely worthwhile. I'm feeling a whole lot better now than I was a week ago, which is a lot better than I did in the past couple of years. Sleeping better, getting a lot more rest, or it feels like I'm getting a lot more rest. And I'm really excited to see kind of what else changes in my life because of this surgery that I've had. So I hope that you found some value in this video. Don't forget to check out some of our other content over here. Got a lot of great information here. We love for you to check it out. We hope to see you again, but until next time, have a great day.